I've uh, received several questions from people about uh, engine oil leaks, which I believe might be caused by an increase in uh, the engine crankcase pressure. So I, I thought I would do a video and talk about the different reasons why the uh, engine crankcase pressure changes, um, how the engine is designed to deal with those different pressure uh, conditions, and then uh, some of the things that can go wrong and how you might test for those faults. And then hopefully you can take that information and apply it to your own equipment or vehicles or uh, just use it as a springboard to uh, learn more about the topic. Um, but before I get started, this is a, a four-cycle overhead valve engine. Um, it's a Chinese clone of a Honda, uh, I, th I think five or six horsepower engine. And I've taken the uh, side case off here so you can see inside of the uh, engine crankcase. The uh, crankcase area is the area you see here, but it also extends up through the uh, engine block and into the valve cover area. Um, the primary reason the pressure changes inside of the crankcase is because uh, part of the border of the crankcase area is the bottom of the piston and the cylinder walls. So as the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center, you expose more of the cylinder wall area, so you're increasing the size of the crankcase area, and that causes a drop in crankcase pressure. And as the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center, you expose less of the area of the cylinder wall. So you're uh, decreasing the crankcase area and you're causing a, an increase in uh, crankcase uh, pressure. Uh, another reason for uh, changing crankcase pressure is uh, something called blow-by. Uh, blow-by is when combustion gases leak past the seal created by the uh, piston, piston rings and cylinder wall. Those gases uh, leak past that point and get inside of the crankcase and cause a spike or increase in uh, crankcase pressure. Um, Blow-by is normal, but it's worse when the uh, engine is cold or when the engine is uh, old and worn. The uh, way engine designers control the uh, crankcase pressure is they use a uh, one-way check valve called a uh, breather valve or um, PCV valve, which stands for positive crankcase ventilation. And all this valve does is it lets gas escape from the uh, crankcase, but it doesn't let gas uh, return or go back into the crankcase. And this has the overall effect of uh, creating a crankcase pressure in a normal operating uh, engine that is below uh, atmospheric pressure. Some of the reasons that will cause a, a high crankcase pressure, uh, one is uh, excessive blow-by. Um, like I mentioned earlier, blow-by is when the uh, combustion gases get past the piston rings and make their way into the uh, crankcase. And excessive blow-by is just too much for the uh, breather valve to uh, keep the crankcase pressure below atmospheric pressure. And you can use a leak down test to uh, test for a worn top end. Another reason for a high crankcase pressure is a blown head gasket. Uh, remember I said earlier that the crankcase area extends up through the cylinder block and into the valve cover area? Well, this is uh, part of the uh, crankcase area. So if you get a break in the head gasket right here, uh, high pressures from the uh, combustion chamber can escape uh, past that break and into the uh, crankcase area causing a, a high pressure condition. Uh, how would you check for this? A leak down test will tell you if you have a, a leaky, leaking head gasket. Another reason for a high uh, crankcase pressure could be a faulty breather valve. So uh, check your breather valve and make sure that's operating correctly. And uh, check the hose that goes from the breather valve and usually connects to your air filter housing. Make sure that hose isn't plugged. Uh, anything that will, will prevent uh, gas from escaping from your crankcase can cause uh, high crankcase pressure. So those are the reasons the uh, crankcase pressure is constantly changing, uh, some of the things that can go wrong, and uh, how the engine uh, keeps the crankcase pressure below atmospheric uh, pressure. Um, and the reason you want it below atmospheric pressure is because it keeps oil in, in the engine. A higher pressure will force oil out of the engine and create problems like oil leaks. Interesting side note on these breather valves or uh, PCB valves. Um, before we had the EPA, uh, engine manufacturers would just let uh, crankcase gases or blow-by empty into the atmosphere. Then the EPA came along and said, hey, this stuff contains hydrocarbons, which uh, is an ingredient in uh, smog. And it's just another word for uh, unburnt fuel. So they created something called uh, crankcase emissions, and it was a requirement that uh, uh, engine manufacturers redirect the crankcase gases back through the engine and give it another chance to burn. 
and in small engines you usually see the um, you, you always see a hose connected to the breather valve and the other end always connects to the uh, usually connects to the air filter housing but it can connect to any any point on the uh, engine intake uh, for example if you watch my uh, 2001 Mazda Tribute uh, PCV valve video the other end of the the hose connected to the uh, intake manifold but uh, anyway I just thought that was an interesting side note um, I think it was a requirement on cars that they have some type of crankcase uh, emissions uh, that started in 1963 and then that stuff always you know always starts with cars and then it will make its way to motorcycles and small engines um, you know 10 or 20 years later so um, anyway thanks for watching